Have you heard about Sirius? It is the most luminous star in the night sky above Earth, sometimes referred to as the Dog Star, or Sirius A. The name comes from Greek terminology, which means glowing. It refers to the star's brightness, which is only surpassed by the full moon, a few planets, and the International Space Station. One of the stars that is closest to us after the Sun is Sirius, which is 8.6 light years away. Two of the eight nearest stars are found in Sirius, which is also the sixth closest star system to Earth. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that one light year is approximately 9.4 trillion kilometers or 6 trillion miles long? Because Sirius is so brilliantly bright, the ancients were aware of it. However, astronomers were taken aback when Sirius B, a companion star, was discovered in 1862. Sirius A, or simply Sirius, is the name of the star that can be seen with the naked eye. NASA claims that Sirius B is 10,000 times fainter than Sirius. Because it's so faint and challenging to observe from Earth, scientists weren't able to determine its mass until 2005, owing to information from the Hubble Space Telescope. Because Sirius is very close to Earth and has a high luminosity, or inherent brightness, in comparison to other stars, it is very visible in the winter night sky of the Northern Hemisphere which is 8.6 light years away. NASA estimates that Sirius has a mass that is twice than that of the Sun. Sirius would shine more than 20 times brighter than our Sun if it were put next to it. How to locate Sirius? Sirius sets in the southwest, rises in the southeast, and arcs across the southern sky, as seen from mid-northern latitudes, including most of the United States. Sirius appears to be arcing high overhead in the southern hemisphere. Sirius rises in December mid-evening as seen from all over the globe. Sirius begins to set toward the southwest at sunset by the middle of April. Finding Sirius is never difficult. It is the brightest star in the sky. Additionally, this star can be easily located by drawing a line through Orion's belt for anyone familiar with the constellation. The three stars of the belt point leftward toward Sirius. The brightest star in the sky. A stellar magnitude is a unit of measurement used by astronomers to describe a star's brightness. The star will shine brighter when the number is lower. Sirius has a visual magnitude of minus 1.44, which is lower and brighter than any other star. In terms of real energy and light production, there are stars brighter than Sirius, but because they are further away, they appear darker. In our sky, Sirius is typically only outshined by the Sun, Venus, Moon, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Mercury is usually outshined by Sirius. Let's compare Sirius to the Sun. Astronomers categorize Sirius as an A-category star. Its surface temperature is approximately 9,400 degrees Celsius or 17,000 degrees Fahrenheit, significantly higher than the 5,500 degrees Celsius or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit of our Sun, indicating that it is a considerably hotter star than our own. Sirius still emits 26 times as much energy despite having slightly less than twice the Sun's diameter, and slightly more than twice its mass. It is a main-sequence star, which means that the majority of its energy comes from the nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. Since Sirius is now moving into the solar system at a speed of 5.5 km per second, it will eventually get brighter and closer. Recent observations indicate that it is moving toward our solar system. It will gradually become brighter and approach our solar system at its closest point. Once it comes as close as possible, it will begin to slowly pull away. Before you leave us, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel.